Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. This is what we're going to do today. Yes, as you can see, long exposure effect using Adobe After Effects. This is not that hard to do it. We're going to use very simple expressions in Adobe After Effects. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe and hit the like button. And let's get started. Okay, uh, please download this video file from the link I provided in my description, which is the, um, something like this. So city night shot, the video shot uh, from the top. Okay, now open uh, Adobe After Effects. I'm going to import the file first. Go to File, Import, File. And let me import this, the city night. Okay, now you can see that in your the project panel. And select your city night.mp4 and drag and drop to new composition from footage. This here. So you can just view it. See, so that's the video uh, clip. Okay, so what we're going to do is first open the effect and then a presets panel and type echo echo so this will create some kind of a trails of any movement especially in this case the light so a drag and drop to your footage okay so um you will see that kind of uh, all the control things under the effect controls panel now we're going to use this just the expression that's going to be simpler so select your layer, cdnight.mp4, reveal, and the effect, and echo. You can see the kind of same uh, variations here. And hold down the uh, Option key or the Alt key uh, on your uh, if you're a PC user, and click on this stopwatch, echo time. Click on it. Now you see that we're going to have hyphenate this return dot frame and frame duration and return and move your the time indicator you will see the difference you see that it's kind of much brighter and more saturated see okay now from here what we're gonna do is you will see the number of echoes I'm gonna increase this from 1 to 100 so it's going to be really, really bright because there are 100 repetitions of this video footage. Okay. And then under Echo Operator, you see the Add. Now click on this drop-down menu. Choose the maximum. See? And watch. I'm going to hit the end of the play button or the space bar to preview it. Okay, so you see that? You see the, the light trails, like the long exposure photography? Okay, but it is kind of too slow. So what I'm going to do is, let me collapse this. Let me pause. And select your layer. And this time, hold down the Command key, Shift key, and C. On your PC, if you're a PC user, Control Shift to C. And then I'm going to rename this composition as the um, uh, long exposure. And please check the move all attributes into the new composition, the second button. OK. OK. And then uh, click on this uh, source name here. Hold down the control key and click columns. You see the stretch? Please choose this one, stretch. Now we're going to make it faster. Maybe I'm going <clears> to <throat> double the speed. So um, uh, 50%. It is kind of opposite uh, to um, uh, the Adobe Premiere Pro. The lower number makes the um, uh, your uh, video footage faster. So 50%. OK. And I'm going to define my work area down to five second mark there and watch 
hit the space bar. Okay, so it is faster. Isn't it cool? Yes, it's like this. Okay, then let me stop this. I'm gonna save it, go to file, save as. Let me save as the um, um, city night long exposure. And I'm gonna export as the MP4 file. So go to file, export, add to render queue. And let me check my location by click here. Uh, yes, it's good. So it's going to be named CD night underscore long underscore exposure dot mp4. Save it and render. Okay, so that's it. Let me check my folder. See? So CD night long exposure dot mp4. That's the one. That's nice. So it's a five second footage. The original footage was a 10 second. See? So this is the original. And this is the one we just created. Okay. So I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial and that you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.